Well, hey everybody, good morning. Whittler Dave here. Out here in the old wood shop, you know where I'm at. How y'all doing today? On this kind of a beautiful morning out here in the mountains here in Tennessee. I'm not carving right now. I'm finishing up a very large shallow relief carving. Now we're just starting to add some collar. There's a ton of collar to this I'm doing. This is the bird, and he's on a couple branches, and he's got flowers. There's just a lot going on here. This is going to take several days to get this figured out, make some paints, and do some dry brushing, and there's a lot of love in this one. Excuse me. Got to love allergies. See right there, folks? See the flowers and the bird? Yeah, he's got a lot of love to him. This took, uh, oh, I've got roughly, oh, just a back and forth, a little over a month in carving this. This is going to be a real pretty one. They're all different. I'm not a machine, you know that. Got to work on a bunch of Christmas today. Finishing up those Santa Clauses I was carving the other day. Here they are. Here's one of them. I got f four of these to do now. And I just got a duck done. Got him all burnt and stuff. Now I've got to paint his boots. And this is for a customer right here. Kind of hard to see. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. It's a red, white, and blue eagle and stuff. Just got it carved. And I'm starting to get it painted. This created a new place in my shop right here where I can paint. Move some things around. And of course, you know, I've got... Hang on a minute, folks. Here's some of the known Christmases I'm doing. See, he's all done. Right there. Here's a here's a little simple one. Right there. Of course, we got some here that's not finished, but here's going to be a, a small little known Christmas. And then we got this little guy right here. Like I said, I'm working on Christmas. I don't know if I'm coming or going or going or coming. And then I've got the... Uh, Frankenstein gnome done now. See the see the handmade little wooden boats that come out of his hat, head? See, I just carved up some little boats. Got him where he'll stand and everything. He's simple. I've got several of these made. I've got a Christmas show uh, coming up, and I've got a Halloween show coming up. Halloween show's the 28th of uh, this coming month. Gotta hold your mouth right. Now I'm just starting to add collar. There's gonna be a lot of dry brushing on this here. Just got to get it just right. Got different collars and but I think he's gonna be really unique here. There's the white added. Right there. Now, since I've got so much white out, let's go ahead and throw in some white on this Christmas here. We've got to get this done too. Sorry about that, folks. My arm's in the way. These are so simple to paint. They don't take me long. See, I burn them because I want that texture to show through. Give it that old look. I like things that look old and like you're like it's been handed down through the years. Like grandmother used to have it. 
You know? To me, if you want something foo-foo, go out and buy something foo-foo. My stuff is handmade. Everything I do is handmade. But it's not foo-foo. Just getting that right there painted in a little bit. I got another one. I'm, I'm going to do these for a show, too. These are for a customer. I got four of these. There we go. I've already carved another one this morning. Got to finish it up. I've got a lot of things to cut out and do. I sewed some Christmas gnomes the other day, so I'm going to redo. You know, I redo things. Like I said, they're all going to be different because I keep telling people, not a machine. I let the wood tell me how it wants to be and it talks to me and I just follow the grain and it'll tell me a story and I listen to it and I just go with it. It's in there. It's just like my carvings. I don't I don't really measure, I don't mic. I don't do nothing like that. I just carve. I just carve. See all these are these here are painted right now. Let's get some other paint out here. Do his little nose. I tell you what, these allergies this year, whoo! They're bad. They are bad. I cannot get away from them. I'm so tired of blowing my nose and Man, I tell you, if they come out with a shot and they had to stick it in you know where, I'd let them do it. I am just sick of these allergies. I, I've, I've blown my nose nine million times already today. Right, that, that started there. Let's throw a little bit more love right here. And I'll come in with a very tiny, small brush. That one's all right. Let's do this little dude right here. I throw a little bit of love right there. All righty. Now let's get the brim of the hat. Put this paint away. Okay. I'll tell you what, I can't believe already it's going to be October. That's just unreal. October, knocking on the door before you know it. It's going to be doing that one thing I really don't care for, snow. I spent years working in the snow when I had my construction business and I drove tractor and trailer. and I spent a lifetime outside working. And I am not a snow person. Some people, oh, I just love it. They love it. But you know, I ask them one question is, how many hours of per day have you ever spent outside working in it? That's the question. I put a lot of hours outside. Freezing rain, freezing weather. So bad you, you can't even feel your toes, your ears, your nose. So... I just don't really like, I like it when it's hot. My arthritis likes it when it's hot. I'm a, I'm a person that likes heat. This shop here, it's got one of those mini splits in it. And it's got air conditioning and it's got, the main thing, it's got heat. I've had the air on here to see if it worked. And I've had this unit for over three years, and I've just tried it out twice. I don't like air. I've got my door open, so I like natural, God-given. Don't need all that air. If people learn to roll the window down and glue them from being inside all the time, they could actually handle life. But you know what's funny is, is Soon as it gets warm, first they gripe about winter all along. But as soon as it turns warm, first thing they do is they roll the windows up and they sit in air conditioning all day. That's why they can't get used to nothing. 
And then they gripe that it's hot. You know, but then when they gripe when it's cold. Unplug yourself from a lot of your modernization is what I call people. You'll need all that. Just unplug yourself. Get out and breathe a little bit of natural, God-given air. That's all you need to do. There you go. Yeah, this simple. I'm just roughing this in, then I'll come in after everything dries and I'll set down with a smaller brush. I really don't sit down. I always stand. I don't I try not to set too much. But I'll come in with a little tiny brush, very small, and cut all this in. And then I'll add some more detail, some more love. We're just getting her roughed in with close as I can get to the, the main carving. There's that one. So that's simple. Let's see here. Running out of room, folks. There you go. It's in there. Getting ready to get that cedar. I've been talking about it. I know, I know. Everybody's like, well, when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? Well, I guess today I'll climb up in the old barn, up in the rafters where I keep it. Big chunks of cedar. And yank down a piece. Draw it up. All I need is just a basic shape. I'm going to lay me out of just a basic shape. It don't have to be pretty or perfect or, you know, it don't. And then I'll start that duck I've been ta telling you about. I did put my bench up in my cellar basement, but I can grab it again. I had to get it out of the shop because I am doing so much work in here. I was running out of room, floor space. I don't have a huge, huge shop, but it's a good shop. I built it, designed it, you know that. And a few friends that come and help me. You always got to appreciate your friends that come and help you. I do. There you go. Add some more love there. See, there's, there's that one. We got... This one here, and then of course you got this one, and you got this one. Now, I've already started painting the heart on that one. So, yeah, it's getting there. I'm going to make me a board on this bench here where it can fold out. So when I do projects like this, you know, I don't need a huge, a huge bench to paint on and stuff, but... I thought I would just, you know, make something simple. And this project here is just a back and forth. This is just back and forth. I mean, you don't get hurried on nothing like that. That's a lot of thought process, mixing collars. You just, a, a, that's a lot of work. That is. Let's see here. Oh, uh, la -dee da don't know what color I want. I like, I like this purple here. I may, may wait on that one. Yeah, I may do. Got to finish up zero here. Got to have zero. That's what he's called. Had to be told what he's called. I didn't know what he was. I just carved him. That's just me. Oh, I've already done purple boots. There's one with purple boots right there. So I better not do purple boots again. I, I could not remember if I did. I do so much, it's hard to remember all of it. That's the problem. Whew. My brain's on steroids right now. I can't, I just, I can't think anymore. You know. Well, I just wanted to jump on here for a few minutes and everything. Get you on up here. Just for a few minutes. 
and say, hey, how y'all doing? Whittler Dave. I appreciate everybody that is following us. We uh, deeply appreciate that. And I got a lot of new things coming out. I'm getting ready to post a bunch of stuff on my website and everything. So if you'd be so kind, go on here, check us out, and show, uh, show a little love and give us a like, a comment, share our videos. We appreciate this is how we can build this channel. I want to say thank you all, and you all have a blessed day. And I thank you again.